guys, Alexandria here. And Edna, we're a mother-daughter team. And we're excited because we are back with a brand new video today. We love a easy weekend project. You know, and right now with COVID, I think it helps to get your mind off of what's going on and you feel productive and it makes you feel good. So today we are going to upgrade a simple terracotta pot. You know, we've been purchasing plants in one of our previous videos. We'll make sure we um, link it above. We went plant shopping and we've kind of just been loving looking at plants right now that we're and on. I got some herbs, so I gotta plant my herbs. So we gotta plant those. But today we're gonna show you guys how you can make over these terracotta pots in a really simple way. The first DIY that we're gonna show you is a faux concrete look on this terracotta pot. And um, so what we need are some disposable gloves because it can get a little messy. And then uh, plaster of Paris and also a putty knife. We did get this cute little set at Walmart. Um, you're going to need paint, some regular brushes because we're going to do a dry brush um, finish on this. And then a sanding block as well. To create the faux uh, concrete finish, we're going to use a plaster. And we um, got one that is already ready-made, but they do have one that is uh, it's a powder and you could mix it with water if you want to. So basically using the putty knife, I'm just gonna be applying it. And honestly, you can have fun with it. It doesn't have to be in any direction because remember, you want it to look like, like concrete. So I'm just gonna apply it and work on the whole, the whole pot. I tried applying um, this plaster with a putty knife, but honestly it's not working. So I'm just gonna use um, my finger since I have a glove on there and it's so much easier to do. Since it can take about, you know, one to five hours to dry, it's a beautiful day. Um, we're gonna just let it sit out here and hopefully it'll be done in one hour. The great thing, it was very sunny today, so um, the plaster dried in about, it took about an hour and a half. And so now I'm going to dry brush it with a color that's, it's still a neutral, but and it'll dry a little bit darker, but it's a very light tan. So I finished dry brushing it and now I'm going to put it outside so it can dry. So for this next pot, what we're going to do, we're actually going to decoupage it. And so the things that you're going to be needing um, are a foam brush, you're going to need some, um, we're using Mod Podge in a matte finish. You'll need some white paint to use it kind of as your base. And then we are going to use this scrap piece of fabric to cut out some of the pattern on there and decoupage them on here. Okay, so before we actually decoupage the pot, I'm gonna paint it a really um, nice crisp white. Something that we like to do is we, um, these are actually uh, sample paints that we've had from other projects or maybe it's because we painted a a wall or something like that, so it's always nice to use something you've already had. But I'm gonna paint in a bright white before we For the pattern, um, we are gonna use some scrap fabric that we purchased. Um, most fabric stores do have like a little scrap fabric area. So found this really beautiful floral and I'm just going to cut it out and we will decoupage this afterwards. Now that we've cut out um, the floral pieces that we want to use, what I'm going to do is going to measure them on the pot to find the perfect placement which I love the way this looks, that really large, large print. 
And now we are going to start decoupaging. We are using Mod Podge. I hope I said that wrong. Yeah, Mod Podge. And this one's going to be a matte finish. So I'm going to place some on the pot first. That way it acts as a sealer, or not a sealer, um, like a little adhesive, if you will. And then start with the base so I can still hold on to it. I'm going to lay this across. Hopefully straight, because that's the look I'm going for. I wanna clean. And you can always trim off some of the edge if you need to. Sticking this on there. And then I'm going to grab another layer of Mod Podge and place it right over. It says to apply a generous amount, so uh, don't be shy. Put this other piece here. I really want it to feel organic and more like a, kind of like a print. So I want it to have a very, very soft feeling. Add another piece right here. For the third DIY on the terracotta pots, we're gonna do something um, a little more modern. So we're just gonna use paint. And so I've got three colors of paint. I've got a white, a tan, um, and I'm using a black chalkboard paint. Um, I'm gonna be sectioning off part of the parts of the pot that I wanna um, paint. And then we'll finally seal it all um, once it's completely dry. First, we're gonna start off by painting the entire terracotta pot white. Now that the pot is completely dry, I'm going to use uh, painter's tape to section off the areas that I'm going to be painting. So now that I've sectioned off um, the pot with the painter's tape in half, I'm going to be painting um, the half with a tan. It's just like a real soft, natural tan. I'm gonna start with the inside. I was inspired by Pinterest for a really, like, really neat modern look. I'm gonna section off with a painter's tape because we're, I'm gonna do some black lines, but I wanna make sure that um, it's nice and even. So I'm gonna start here. To get the lines right, I'm gonna have to do, um, because I am using some black chalkboard paint, and I wanna make sure that the lines are going to be even. So honestly, I'm gonna have to do one of the stripes first, let it dry, and then I will move on to the second one. So after doing the second coat of black chalk paint, I am going, and we let it dry, I'm going to carefully peel this off. And I said carefully and it just jumped. <laughs> I wanna make sure, I wanna see what the line looks like before um, we section off the second line. But it stayed nice, I love the way that it stayed, very nice and crisp, a very clean line. Now that we've taken off the um, painter shape on this line, we went ahead and sectioned off another We're, because we are going for a little bit of an abstract look. We moved the tape over and now I'm just going to do the chalkboard paint for the second line. Okay, so we went ahead and added a second coat of the chalk paint for the second stripe. Now I'm gonna just take off the painter's tape.
When you do the dark color, sometimes you'll get a little bit of the bleed through, but you can just get a small little paintbrush, go back and touch that up, and that way it just leaves it all nice and clean. Um, we're gonna do a seal over the pot since we used uh, different color of paint. So I'm gonna use this Mod Podge. It is a matte clear acrylic sealer. And I already, let's see, I'm gonna hold this. Gotta hold it about 10 to 12 inches away. Mist it over, that way it seals the color. And especially since we'll be watering the pots. Upgrading the, these simple terracotta pots was a lot of fun today. Yeah, these three DIYs that we did today, what I loved about it is that we are sharing a three different styles and they're really very easy to do. And they're very inexpensive, right? Super inexpensive. Um, we will make sure that we link everything we used down below. If you guys decide to recreate your own pots at home, we would love to see them. So make sure you follow us on Instagram and tag us. We'll leave our handles down here. And um, let us know in the comment section down below which style is your favorite. I don't know if I really have a favorite. I just like all I three. I like them all, but I definitely am going to do the faux uh, concrete for my herbs. So that would be so cute. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.